We know that evolution works very, very slowly. Mutations from generation to generation to generation. Over the course of time, that leads to what's called speciation. Speciation is how it becomes ever more specialised to fit into a particular niche in society. Now, biological speciation takes a long, long time. But we also talk about cultural speciation, how one culture gives birth to another culture. Now, I find it extraordinarily, incredibly interesting as, a, as an Englishman who grew up learning to speak the Queen's English. I travel all the way around the world, and within the last 10 generations, English people have gone to different parts of the world, and as doing so, have developed very, very different sorts of language. Uh, in Canada, they say, I, I wish I could quote the way they say it, and Canadians will say one thing like this, an Australian will say something totally different, a New Zealand will say something else, and you only need to take an Indian trying to speak English, and you realize you've got another complete subset of English language. That's what's called cultural speciation. It's the way in which things change very quickly in the way we do things. Now, there's a real crisis in the development of the human race at the moment because biological speciation goes ahead incredibly slowly. We've still got brains which were last updated 30,000 years ago, but our language and our way of doing things is changing so rapidly that those impacting on our biological basis are often causing chaos because our biological basis has not changed rapidly enough to deal with all the cultural changes that are around us. So there's a tension which is bigger now than there's probably ever been in the past. Thank you.